Hi guys, it's Arbitrarium, also Riley. And it's time for Owl Crate, my favorite thing ever. Um, you know, I still haven't um, managed to get myself a, a box opener or a letter opener because that would just make this whole process like so much easier. I feel like letter art papers, they're just harder to get than you think of. You're like, oh, I don't need one when you're at the store. You're like, oh, I don't need anything else. Because, you know, how often do you think about using a letter opener? Like, you know, when you get a letter. Who gets letters? I don't know. Anyways, <gasps> I won! So this one is Wonderland. Spoiler warning always, so I'm going to hold off till the end on that. We'll start with the fridge magnet. Uh, I like fridge magnets. If I can get anything to not reflect, that'd be awesome. Imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. Everything is like reflecting today. My glasses are reflecting. Everything's reflecting. Oh, well, in here. Riddles, tea shop, and curiosities. The Wonderland, Mad Hatter's Wonderland. Elixir, an Owl Crate exclusive tea blend. Decaf tea bags. I drink a lot of tea, especially um, in the early mornings when I'm like getting ready to sleep, so that's pretty cool. I want to like smell it, but I can't get it open. Ah! This thing is definitely people proof. Oh, it has, it's taped, it's taped closed. Whatever, okay? Why would you tape it to close? Makes no sense. Ah! Oh, they're really pretty. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh, they're like, they're pretty, like. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla. Like. Ah, peach vanilla. Marigold, apricot. Yeah, I think you can smell like the peach and the vanilla the most. And I'm really excited about that. Woohoo! Uh, authored adornments. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think it really wants me to open it. <laughs> oh, it's another bookmark, and this one has... It's not going to show it to you. It has an Alice in Wonderland page from... Oh, that's so cool. I love every bookmark every month. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And another one from Rock Paper Books. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland from Lewis Carroll. Oh, I think it's the original one. Like it's a reprint. That's cool. I haven't read it in a long time. I'm actually looking forward to reading it again. It, it seems shorter than I thought, but you know, the last time I read it, I was like eight or something. So yeah. Pin. It's another Alice in Wonderland pin, this one. That doesn't surprise me at all. And finally, what do we got here? Sometimes your heart is the only thing worth listening to. It's Heartless by Marissa Meyer, the author of the Lunar Chronicles. Dear Owl Crate Reader, despite the title, Heartless has been a work of my heart. It combines two great loves, Lewis, Car Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland and a fascination for villain origin stories. After all, I long believed there was more to the decapitation happy queen of hearts. Why is she always so angry, so bloodthirsty? A few years ago, my imagination began to concoct a story. Not of a tyrannical ruler, but of a teen girl who yearned for more so than society had planned for her. As you read Heartless, I hope you'll laugh, fall in love, and be plagued by an incessant sweet tooth. But mostly, I hope you enjoy this trip down the rabbit hole. Best regards, Emmeyer. Hmm, it's interesting. I'm 
I'm gonna read the cover because I'm super interested in knowing what this is gonna be about. Catherine may be one of the most desired girls in Wonderland and a favorite of the unmarried king, but her interests lie elsewhere. A talented baker, she wants to open a shop and create delectable pastries, but for her mother, such a goal is unthinkable of the woman who could be queen. A royal ball where Kath is expected to receive the king's marriage proposal, she meets a handsome and mysterious jest. For the first time, she feels the pull of true attraction. At the risk of offending the king and infuriating her parents, she and Jest enter into a secret courtship. Kath is determined to choose her own destiny, but in a land thriving with magic, madness, and monsters, fate has other plans. Huh. Well, I can't wait to see it. I will probably read it either later today or tonight. And I, as always, I'll post a review of it. There should be a little tag up here in the corner. There there will be as soon as I have the uh, the review done. So that's really exciting. I love the box as always. Um, if it seems like something that you would absolutely love to be into, there is a link beneath the video for how to get your own owl crate. So far I have been super impressed every single month. Um, I don't read only YA, but when I do I really appreciate um, the boxes that are put together by Owl Crate. They do such a good job. Uh, here's another great one. Let me not. There's one last thing before we go. The theme of the December box is epic. In the December box, you'll receive an item from Dark Horse. Hmm. Epic. There is a witch's hat right there. Like the sorting hat, maybe? It kind of looks like the sorting hat. Well, and then there's like Griffin here. And maybe it's Harry Potter related. There's a sword or possibly a wand on this side. I don't know. Well, the other thing is it kind of looks like it could be part of, um, it could also be the Stark House emblem right there. I don't know. I can't wait. As always, thank you for watching and I will have videos up for you soon. Thank you.